show again with another review. Um, well, this is not really a review, it's more of a commentary. Um, because everybody's talking about this whole Ben Wallace situation, who was a player, a football player for the Baltimore Mavis, who got suspended and thrown out of the NFL because of his fiance in, in the next city. Uh, well, let me, let me tell you, I'd like to ask what you my subscribers, people who are watching this thing on, on YouTube, to not support the NFL. Uh, what I call the NFL is the National Cover Up League, the National Football League, because they knew <laughs> that they had this video. They had this video for five months. Back in April, they received this video from the hotel that since went out of business in the next city. And they held on to it. Until of course the actual uproar. The the main Lewis got not only was he suspended for two days, but because TMZ out flaked everybody and got a copy of this video from, from the hotel and broadcast it on on the regular TMZ show which is Every night, we're on the TMZ live show or podcast show, which is you can see it on the computer on the internet every day. You know, you're doing the week. So, because they outflanked everybody, uh, naturally, then they have then the stupid NFL had to take action. Uh, it was kind of like what, what Major League Baseball had to do when they had to take over, uh, take what. Uh, do something when Jose after Jose Canseco wrote his uh, book about steroids in 2005 called Juice, and he wrote the book. That made me think baseball decided to, to do something and do and have a stronger penalty for steroid users. Uh, that's what they had to do with, with this thing. Now he he suspended the Ravens coming from the team. Uh, so I'm asking everybody to to boycott the NFL. That means just don't be involved with stupid fantasy league. Get out of your fantasy league. Don't don't uh, support the NFL. Don't buy the jerseys. Don't buy any of the other crap. Don't buy tickets for games. Boycott the entire season. Uh, because that, that because if you go to these games or you watch the games on television or whatever, you are encouraging you people out there are encouraging this type of behavior. Uh, because the NFL more than any other sport has more people arrested, more players arrested than any other sport. I mean, it's not even close to any to any to any other sport. Maybe with the outside, uh, without possibly maybe basketball being closest and having thugs in the sport. Uh, but with basketball, it had to do with the players having sex with them with at least one woman in every city you have like 20 kids uh, but, but when the NFL, when the NFL you have not only Ray Lewis but also you have a uh, former teammate which maybe even escaped me for a moment uh, who killed somebody who was involved with murder during the Super Bowl weekend a few years ago who didn't even get charged with murder you have Michael Vick who was involved with who was playing for, for the New Jersey Jets and the New York New Jersey Jets uh, for for the do for the dog issue, uh, for, for with uh, dog fighting, you have of course infamous the O.J. Simpson who killed his ex-wife and got off. Uh, you ha you have all these other thugs in the N NFL. They're not even, they're not even human beings. That thug. They all belong in jail. They belong in, in a prison league, not not the NFL. Uh, and Unfortunately, the NFL has not gotten the criticism as it should, because they have countless, countless amount of players who have been invested, who have been in jail, uh, who have been accused of, like I said, anything from cruelty to animals to murder, and nobody is condemning the NFL for having. Not even suspending any of these players, not banning any of these players. And the thing that ticks me off is that all every single one of these pl uh, players is allowed to be in the baseball hall. And, not even, 
including in the football hall of fame because they have a policy unlike in baseball where, where they count everything if you do something bad off the field they count for your vote or when they consider you when they consider to vote when the sports writers consider to vote for the hall of fame in baseball they consider you all the stuff you do off the field football does not have that policy if they had that policy nobody would be in the hall of fame because they're all pieces of garbage pieces of shit uh, and anybody who there's only three groups of people who, who watch football drugs idiots and gamblers and that's what people who watch the NFL are for for those three to boost it up to to gamble and if you're an idiot for watching it and not even having the nerve to criticize it uh, because my, the other thing I'm going with, with the NFL is that nobody criticizes the NFL when they push back television shows on Sunday night and what, what, I, mean, what I mean by that is I grew up watching the NFL the CBS shows on Sunday night and I grew up in the era where you have uh, well, 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 yeah, 60 minutes then too, but I never watched 60 minutes because it was too boring for me. But, but when, when I was little, but when I when I used to have Archie, Archie Bunker, more of the family, then so became Archie Bunker's place. Uh, on the one day at a time, Alice Jefferson's Trumpet John MD on Sunday night. Uh, but when they CBS used to have, and that in those days they used to broadcast the NFC games then. And when well, now Fox does, by that, by that time they had uh, CBS had the NFC games. Every time they have a four o'clock game, and when when I mean four o'clock, I mean they start at four o'clock, maybe four or five the latest. Uh, but when they come on the air at four o'clock, they will tell you what game you're watching, and the two announcers will do like a little analyze the game a little bit, and then you see the kickoff, and then you see the game story. Nowadays, now you have the game store at 425, which you know guarantees is going 1 to 7 o'clock. And instead of 60 minutes starting at 7, they store at 740, 745, 750, 755, 752, maybe 748, uh, all these crazy times. Uh, 758, almost like an hour later than it's supposed to. So instead of, let's say, the show. And the good wife, which is a function, is now on Sunday night, which is the best show on TV. It's now starting at 9 o'clock, which is supposed to. Now it's almost like at 10 p.m. or later because of the stupid football. And nobody says boo that their shows are on late or, or the famous Sunday night shows are on late because all the other fucking morons, excuse my language, all the other fucking morons watch the Sunday night show game on, CB, on NBC. And but, but the thing that takes me over about that stuff is that people always complain, like I mentioned in my video for the second, my review of the second half of the, of the 2014 baseball season, the whole week everybody complained about how long uh, baseball games go, but nobody says a word about how long baseball game, football games go, excuse me. Uh, for example, they had, uh, Saturday night they had, during the exhibition season, they had the Jets and Giants were playing in two, two separate games in New York starting at 7 o'clock and at the same time the Mets had a game at 7 o'clock guess which game ended first the Mets game did about I would say about, like 20, about 20 minutes to a half hour before the Jet game ended and, it ended, and the Mets game ended at least an hour before the Giant game did so you want to tell me how slow baseball games are? And I have to say to all you football fans out there, fuck you football fans, alright? Your sport takes fucking forever. Beginning to end. Uh, and it's all bullshit. Because now we're going to have a game on Thursday night now, every week for the season. It's going to get to a point where we're going to have a game on Tuesday. We already have a game on Monday night and Sunday night. We're going to have a game on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Friday night, Saturday. So every night of the week we're going to have a stupid football game on. Every night. 
you might, you might, and, and I can see it coming with me, even though it's only a couple of nights a week now. But I can see it coming that it's going to be a football game on every night. And you know why it's going to be? Because it's cheaper for the networks to put on a football game every night instead of paying actors to store in fictional television shows. And people should wake up and smell the coffee and protest this and they should put on regular television shows instead of this this garbage of a sport, the shit sport that allows criminals to constantly play their game, the sport. Because you're encouraging people like Ray Lewis who goes out and beats up his feet and then fiance or OJ going running out and killing his wife. Uh, the, these dog, these dog uh, fighters, like Mekovic, you're encouraging all this crap by continually to support football, the NFL. So I'm asking you know, people who, who, who follow my videos on YouTube and other people watching this, support, boycott the NFL. Boycott it. Now we're going to send a message to the NFL that they cannot condone this, this type of behavior anymore. This criminal behavior. These pieces of garbage who play the sport, you, you will not support it until you get all this, all these pieces of garbage out of the sport. Uh, because originally today I was going to do a video with, with, with the Lion Never shows because I'm doing this show on the 13th anniversary of 9 11. I figured that this topic is more more important to do, and like I said, I'm asking people out there to boycott the NFL, to not watch the games, not to go to the games, no, not to buy any of that crap. I'm talking about jerseys, hats, and another garbage and so and so on QVC or HSN or the NFL shop or the other shit, and and to boycott this horrible. Horrible sport. Uh, thank, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please read the video. Please feel free to comment. Please share the video on your Facebook pages. Please subscribe to my channel and support. Support if you want to follow. Support a real sport. Follow Major League Baseball. That's a real sport. Not this crap. Thank you for thank you for watching and catch you next time.